Paul and uh, welcome back to the channel and uh, today's visit you uh, catch us having a gentle walk along the towpath of the Somerset Coal Canal uh, just on the outskirts of Bradford on Avon and uh, as you can see very very busy from the intro bit of video there and uh, yeah just going to just a gentle walk along today see what we can uh, see and hope we get some images along the way and our destination is the Dundas Aqueduct. So uh, bring you back when we get along there. See you shortly. Okay, one of the enjoyable things about this uh, little location is that you get three for the price of one uh, not only do you get the Somerset Coal, Coal Canal which you've now just walked the length of in all of three minutes four minutes um, to my right is the main southwest I'm going to get through this next gate I'll show it to you a railway line from Bath that goes down through Bradford on Avon Trowbridge down to Westbury to Salisbury and down to the south coast but also the other side of the railway is the main River Avon. So I'll uh, spin you around and uh, you can see those as well. Yeah, the nice thing about this little walk is it is short. Um, I think the whole trip's about a mile round from the car park to the, the aqueduct and back again. And it's actually on uh, proper paths as well most of the way if you don't want to walk on that short bit of towpath that we've just done uh, very very peaceful down here very very peaceful because to my left at the moment the other side of the what's left of the Somerset uh, Coal Canal is the main A36 road from Bath down Warminster Salisbury so um, yeah you're not far from civilization although you wouldn't know it walking along here today it's uh, not bad at all but the river's in good flow but um, we can actually see the aqueduct from where we are right now, so I think it's time to get the camera out and try and get some pictures if we can. I'll uh, show you some shortly. Here you go, zip on cue. Here comes the uh, train coming from Westbury Salisbury up towards Bath, where going through to Bristol and possibly on to Cardiff. So here it comes. How's that? Spot on cue. Okay, so you're looking there at the uh, Dundas Aqueduct, which, as I say, it uh, goes across the River Avon and the Southwest Coastal Railway line here in front of us. And uh, it got its name from Charles Dundas, who was the first chairman of the Kennet and Avon Canal Company. And uh, so the first traffic across this was in 1805 it was actually opened to traffic but it wasn't actually completed until 1810 by John Rennie and in 1951 this aqueduct was awarded the scheduled ancient monument status which is exactly the same status that Stonehenge has just uh, further down in uh, Wiltshire so yeah I hope you get some images of it and uh, hope you enjoy what you've seen so far Okay, so I'm uh, looking straight across the top of the aqueduct right now and 
the sun's coming in from my right. I'm on ISO 100, on f5.6 and 1 160th of a second. Um, reasonably bright coming in from the right. I've got no filters on here, no uh, polarizer, anything else at the moment. Two second timer. And yeah, it doesn't look bad at all on the back of there. The blue belt boat on the uh, left of there is uh, giving quite nice reflections into the water as well. So um, yeah, hopefully that'll be uh, a good one in the bag. Bring back with some more. Okay, no pun intended, but yes, this is a disabled barrier to stop you falling in the canal. Um, I'm still having this knee issue at the moment, but uh, Steph's here with me today, as you've uh, obviously gathered, as Michelle has got me here, and uh, got the camera set up here, and she's just uh, fine tuned it for me. Uh, looking across the aqueduct, and there's a couple of boats moored the other side, and we've just done it on a long exposure on a, um, a six stop and a polarizer on the camera and uh, three second exposure ISO 100 F9 um, and it looks okay on the back of the camera so hoping we get home put it on the computer I'll, uh, I'll give her part credit for it for pushing the button and uh, we're going to walk across the aqueduct now and see if we get some pictures from the other side you see the sun's trying to be amiable today it's uh, warming up a little bit but um, yeah hopefully get a couple more pictures for you Okay, we're right down on the canal side at the moment and uh, on the far side now of the viaduct, sorry, the aqueduct, and um, got some lovely boats here um, all tied up and I've just taken a long exposure of them. I'm going to spin you around in a second and show you the, uh, the angle of the picture I've taken, so I'm trying to keep you in the shadow. If I move my head, you're going to get blasted, the sun's right behind my head there. And um, I'm just very wary of where the lens is pointing at the minute. And uh, yeah, so it looks quite good on the back of the camera. And uh, so I'll spin you around and show you what we've taken. But there's a beautiful uh, old narrowboat here with a proper engine in it. And uh, hopefully the chap will uh, let us do a quick recording for you all in a second on the way past. So um, yeah, let's see if he's uh, gonna let me have a, a shoot of his engine for him. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, some got us again. I'll uh, hopefully come back with the uh, sound of the narrowboat. There you go, Tony, if you're watching this, or when you watch this, a Kelvin narrowboat engine, and it's about to take off very shortly. And the chap's very kindly said I can video it for you, so uh, there you go. Beautiful sound, absolutely gorgeous sound. That's it for today. It's, uh, just walking back across the aqueduct now, back to the car and uh, not very far, five minutes max to get back there uh, nice and flat, it's been on the sofa it's uh, been quite enjoyable getting out of the fresh air and the sun's been out which has been kind to us and uh, caught the nice, met a couple of nice people on the way and the uh, owner of the boat there was just uh, he actually let, let me video his engine there ticking over so, really really lovely sound and um, yeah very pleasant guy and, uh, so that's it for this one it's a uh, number of trains to pass over the railway but uh, yeah thank you very much for joining us hope you've enjoyed it and the images don't forget to uh, hit the like button and subscribe feel free to share the video if you uh, think your friends might be interested and uh, until the next time thanks very much Bye for now.